She can get to the rim, she can score, and really does a nice job of just taking leadership and a leading score for this team right now. 16.3 points per game for Van Sluten. She's their leading scorer. Their second leading scorer, India Rogers, 14 and a half points a game for UCLA. Their top scorer, of course, Charisma Osborne, fifth in the conference, 18.1 points per game. Filipina Che will tip it off against Cameron Brown. And the 6'8 Che wins the tip. And here come the Ducks in front of a good crowd on this day before New Year's Eve. Rich Burke along with Jennifer Mountain. And Chance Gray going to work. The freshman hands it off to India Rogers. Around the Che pick. Floater by Rogers. Doesn't go. They have a rebound by Conti. Well, you need to watch here because boards are going to be a huge emphasis on both squads. Talking to coaches beforehand, they talked about rebounds being a big part of today's game. Yeah, Kelly Graves of the Ducks said that UCLA likes to chuck and chase. They'll put it up, and then everybody hits the offensive glass. They get a lot of second-chance points. Emily Bessoir has her shot blocked by Van Sluten, but Kiki Rice has it. 14-footer is good. Well, in that mid-range game, she's just so electric. Did a nice job, and we talked about the boards right there. Offensive board puts back. Immediately second chance points for UCLA. Here's Chance Gray. Nice little fake. We're going to see a lot of on-ball action, a lot of handoff action, trying to get to the paint. Six to shoot for Rodgers. Double teamed. Underneath the Che, got to put it up right away. Off the glass and good. Filipina Che. Well, that's going to be a big matchup inside. Filipina Che really doing a great job in the last four weeks developing, getting better in an offensive threat right there. Obviously shot clock really late there. She was supposed to be Sedona Prince's backup, but Prince elbow surgery. Her college career is over, preparing for the professional ranks. Bessoir's mid-range doesn't go, and Che has the rebound. Well, that one-and-done defensive attitude by Oregon. Coach talked about it in shoot-around. 40 minutes and rebound time is what they're focusing on. And Shea's going to be a huge part of that. There's a foul on Kiki Rice. It's hard to fathom now, but that 2017 NCAA tournament berth was Oregon's first since 2005. Good defense by UCLA straight up against the 6'8 Filipina Che. Well, you're going to see Oregon kind of mixing up the defense, sagging off kind of that pack mentality, making them shoot and through from the perimeter. Pow Pow the rebound. Drive and the bucket for India Rogers. Well, nice take off the bounce there with her left hand and then comes back and finishes on the float. Osborne, pick it back outside. Conti drives on Rogers, handed off to Rice. Hesitation move. Brown open from the free throw line. Got it. To find her senior teammate, Cameron Brown. Averages three a game. Kind of a glue player for UCLA. Here's Grace Van Sluten, the freshman, driving it in against Brown. A little spin move. Last couple of years affected heavily by COVID and injuries. Last year they did make a late run to the semifinals of the WNIT. Yeah, the chemistry of this group. She just loves how they play for each other with Van Sluten's game. I mean, defensively and offensively, quite frankly. Again, here's Oregon in that zone kind of pack mentality. Rice for three. They left her open and she hit it. And that happens sometimes. You got that pack mentality. All of a sudden a team starts, you know, really getting hot. And Oregon's certainly going to have to make adjustments if that happens. Van Sluten against Zontag and it doesn't go. Really both teams, you know, forcing each other to take tough shots. Rice on the drive. It gets pow pow. That's a great battle right there. The bucket and the foul for Kiki Rice. Gatorade National Female Athlete of the Year for all sports. Sidwell Friend School. One turnover for each team. Pow pow. UCLA on the other hand, three of three and really done a nice job at 6-0 run over this last minute and a half. Zontag set the screen. Osborne on the drive and she hits the floater. Osborne wow. with her first bucket. Just great body control. Good oh. job of getting it up. Seeing Pow Pow, India Rogers, really nice job of getting that ball in transition. You That's can see, 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. You can see Oregon right now is mixing up their defense, which is causing a little bit of hesitation and 
Oh. Three-pointer for Osborne and fouled by India Rogers. It's a chance at a four-point play. And UCLA, four of their last, or five of their last six, excuse me, and just doing a great job of scoring from the perimeter, which we talked about. Very close. Head coach of the UCLA Bruins said, yeah, this is a shooter's gym, and UCLA usually shoots well here. Here's Hanson against Haquez. Hosendove puts it in. Bucket for Taylor Hosendove, the fifth-year senior out of Atlanta. Well, really nice at isolating that side, and Osborne with the answer. Just a moment ago, she didn't have any. Yeah, her and Rice really the leaders of this squad. Taya Hansen answers for Oregon. Kiki Rice with it right now, the true freshman from Bethesda, Maryland. Final seconds for the first quarter. Conti gets it off in time. UCLA, a 19-12 lead after one quarter here at Matthew Knight Arena. Number 10 Bruins facing the number 17 Ducks. Extending and pushing them out of where they normally start, start their sets. So Oregon's got to handle it. There's a good job of putting pressure on themselves. Rice for three. Rattles out. Filipina Che tips the rebound and collects it. He's 10th in the country in rebounding. 11 points three per game. Kelly Graves said earlier this year he wants her to step up in big games. He just said that she needs consistency in her desire to be the best player on the floor. In the Zontag. Osborne driving it past Hosen Dove. Back to Zontag. Lena Zontag. She had been three for 18 on three-pointers this year before hitting that one. They're now four of seven. 17-footer Elise Hurst. Filipina Che, offensive rebound. Dishes it off to Hosendab, who puts it in. Well, they emphasize taking away that mid-range game. You see that ball goes in, they're just swarming in. Beskwar's three. She and Haquez, their two best three-point shooters. Doesn't go for Rodgers. Che, kick it back outside. Second chance opportunity for Rodgers. Reloads and knocks it down. That's the best time to shoot a three is off an offensive board. Chase does a great job, swings it out, extra pass, great shot. Osborne around the brown pick. Behind her in your picture is the true freshman sensation, Kiki Rice. And we asked Corey Close, is Charisma bothered by all the hype around Rice? And she said, she said no, she wants to win. But the best part is she doesn't have to play point guard. Exactly. She's in her true position and kind of takes that pressure off her a little bit. And the two of them just, you know, really complement each other and make it a little bit easier for both of them. Here comes Chance Gray against Haquez. A couple of freshmen fouled by Haquez. One, one. She's going all the way. Yeah, defense didn't come over to help, but just a great job of getting to the rim. Looks really well, really good. Top two recruiting classes in the country, and there's a block. Elise Hurst rejecting Hawkins. Four to shoot. London Jones knocks down her first effort. A lot of contact. Rodgers, they gave her some space, and she hits it. India Rodgers now 2 of 2 from beyond the arc. Well, she proved me wrong. You certainly can't go under that right there. She hit a deep three. Great job by Rodgers in the read. Tenth in the country coming in at 50% from three-point range. Second in the Pac-12. Good job of cutting off the paint. Jones trying to answer, and it's off the glass. <laughs> Gray created her own mid-range. Doesn't go. Zontag the rebound. Here comes Kiki Rice. Again, I like how Oregon has mixed up their defense in a man-to-man right now. Went under the screen. Rodgers did. Rodgers takes it away after Iwala couldn't handle it. Mm. And the Ducks turn it over again. That's already seven. Great defense by Rice there. Lucky there wasn't a reach-in foul on India Rodgers there. Yep. 
Three-pointer for Osborne. Doesn't go. It's off Zontob. Iwala has it. Puts it up and in. First foul on Filipina Che. they got to keep her out of foul trouble. Yeah, they cannot afford to have her on the bench. Iwala unable to complete the three-point play. Gray for three. She has a sweet stroke, and she hits it. Oregon going to their zone defense here. Zontag looks like she put it to the floor. It's a traveling violation. One of the great freshman class. There's her sister, Freddie, who flew in from Berlin yesterday to Portland. She's going to see the game here and then the one on Sunday at Oregon State. Then she's going to go down to L.A. and spend about 10 days there. Rena had not seen Freddie since July. Well, we all the... One more coming for Rogers. Osborne faked it, takes the three. Kiki Rice, second opportunity for UCLA. Well, that's the area that they, if you're Oregon, you've got to do a better job. You make them take that contested three or a three-point shot. you got to rebound. They now have four offensive rebounds, and Rice able to capitalize. And they have eight second-chance points. And Rice on the other end takes it away. Rice dribbles behind her back, trying to go all the way. Throws it up and gets it down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Entertaining play for Kiki Rice on both ends. Suddenly, it's a five-point game. She's a true freshman. What an incredible future. The president ain't too bad either. Offensive foul on Grace Van Sluten. Rice to Conti. Well, Coach Close really, really likes how they're playing defense. And there's another offensive foul on the screen. Jaquez now has three fouls. Morgan had been within one at 31 to 30. Good move by Van Sluten, unable to finish, put back up by Hosen Doug. She's got six. She's come in and, and been really productive off the bench. Great offensive board. Kiki Rice for three, splash. Rice came in three of 21 on three pointers this year, one for his last 16. The takeaway, Brown unable to capitalize on it. Oregon very fortunate there. Five seconds left in the half. India Rogers going to work way out high, puts it up, and Beswar got a hand on it for a block, and it's a six-point advantage at halftime for UCLA. So Pow Pow to work against Osborne. A couple of veteran guards. Rogers picked up by Osborne. I low chain to Van Sluten. Van Sluten can't finish, and a tip by Beswar to Conti. Tough catch on that high low, but just got to gather a little bit, get more ground, go up strong. Morgan had an early lead at six to four. They later trailed at 19-10. There's a three-pointer by Conti. There's another high-low from Cheda Van Sluten. This time, she converts. Rice little crossover against Van Sluten. Cheda rebound. That's a nice little look. Here's Van Sluten. Spin move herself, and she gets blocked by Brown in a foul call. Two fouls on Beswar. Grace Van Sluten, 67%er from the free throw line. And a five-point game. Well, the one thing, if you're struggling to score as a player, getting yourself to the free throw line is a way to get yourself going. So you like to see her do that as a freshman. To your point, she just hasn't had a lot of touches. Bryce goes up, draws the foul. There's big news in late October when she became the first college athlete to get an NIL sponsorship deal with Jordan Brand. She gave all her teammates a pair of shoes. 
She gave the coaches shoes. She found out the shoe sizes for all the support staff yep. and gave them shoes as well. That just tells you what kind of kid she is. And super, it's impressive. She's been very impressive today. And Pow, pow, knocks it down. Trojans will be here on Sunday. Only a couple of players remain from when she was with the Trojans a couple of years ago. Che with a rejection. Great help defense and great timing by Che on that block. Elise Hurst. Now Van Sluten gives her some space. She'll go to work on the drive, and she does against Zontag. Floats it up and in, and she'll have a chance to tie the game as Zontag commits the foul. First foul on Lena Zontag. Well, again, you, you see the timing of Che coming over. Great job on the block there, getting the board, and then off they go. Van Sluten doing a wonderful job pivoting. Great body control on the finish off the glass. Chance to tie the game, unable to do it. Bruce Van Sluten, during the true freshman season, had a season high 29 points in San Diego against number three Ohio State before the break. Zontag for three, hit one earlier. That one rattles out. Tip by Osborne and pulled down by Hurst. Yeah, that's a tough matchup. Good vision. And Che puts it in to give the Ducks their first lead since it was six to four. Good job of the big run in the floor, rim run, and finding her in transition. I'm really impressed with Filipina Che in all aspects of the game. And there's so much more to come to her game. She hasn't played for that long, and like you said, with Sedona out. Iwala against Che. Iwala with a really strong move, coming back to her left hand, and a big finish and a good answer for UCLA. Freshman from San Antonio. Rodgers went for the reverse. Sontag was there for the block. At the other end, Conti with the rim run. The five to shoot for the Ducks. Rodgers going to work against Rice. Che set up a wall of a pick on Rice. It's up and doesn't go. Che went up, and it's pulled out of the pile by Rice. Osborne, 15-footer, gets it. Osborne now with 13 points. So good in the mid-range. You just cannot give her looks like that. Pow Pow coming back the other way. Offensive foul against the Ducks. UCLA on a 6-0 run over the last just under a minute and a half. Just when you thought Oregon kind of got the momentum, a quick response and just a great job by UCLA. That was the first foul on Taya Hansen. Osborne all the way. They parted the Red Sea. Easy bucket. UCLA doing a really nice job of cutting off the penetration. When we're done, Ted Robinson and Bill Walton will be in Pullman for the Bruins game against the Cougars. Bill Walton making his uh, first visit to Pullman. Her brother Jaime averaging 17 points, six rebounds for the 11th ranked Bruin men. And I bet that was a highly competitive household. And there's a blocking foul called against Taya Hansen. Zontag, rebound Osborne, averages six and a half rebounds a game. There's that rebound that he was talking about. I think she only has two on the game yep. right now. 16-footer, Osborne, Luna Zontag out for UCLA. Pow pow for three, they need it, they get it. And those are the kind of stats that really matter. You don't see them necessarily in a stat line, but they make a huge difference. Cameron Brown floats it up and in. And one. Great job of just taking it mid-range. Finish and great emotion. Plays a role. First you foul on Taylor Hosendove. Watching her and, you know, shoot around. Just really doing a great job of picking her teammates up. Last year played the final 17 games, coming off ACL surgery of the year before. Rebound tipped by Hosendove, pulled down by Brown after the missed free throw. Great job by UCLA again of crashing the glass. They're bread and butter. Osborne over Hosendove. Hosendove with the rebound.
They have eight active players until Kennedy Basham is available, hopefully later in January, coming off an injury. Yeah, their depth obviously in jeopardy there, and then hate to see somebody else go out. He talked about that being a huge factor, is being healthy. Pow Pow tried to dish it underneath the Van Sloot and taken away by UCLA. Hansen getting a hand in, and it's out of bounds to the Bruins. Four-second differential, shot clock and game clock here at the end of the third. Osborne against Hansen. I think they're going to get Rice. Watch the middle of your screen. Trying to post up. Yeah, just got her up by the head. Anything above the, the shoulders is a major emphasis. Good switch. Final play of the third quarter. India Rogers trying to draw a foul, maybe get the end one, unable to do it. And they need to get into a better offensive flow, get to the rim. But it's going to come down to getting stops. Both teams defensively are going to be huge this quarter. Van Sluten, two people lost their shoes. On the drive, Kiki Rice throws it up and in. Incredible the way she is able to finish. I guess scores just know how to do that, don't they? That and she's just got great body control. Takes the, the lane. That's strength right there. You know, the ball got tipped, kind of got loose in her hands and followed with it. And two, two ducks with no shoes on in that possession. Third foul on India Rogers. It's a new career high for Kiki Rice, 19 points. Well, I was actually just going to say at the beginning of this quarter, she was kind of quiet in that third quarter. And obviously starting it off in the first 15 seconds for UCLA. Had just one point in that third quarter. Nine-point UCLA lead, matching their biggest. Pow Pow in deep, trying to dish it off to Van Sluten. The Ducks turned it over incredibly for the 16th time. Fourth best in the nation, 11.5 per game coming in. Van Sluten with a block, her second of the game, but Hawkes on the second chance puts it up and in. At a season high, 15 points in the last game, 10 days ago against Fresno State. On the drive, India Rogers. Tip by Van Sluten out to Taya Hansen, who runs right into Osborne, and Charisma is hurt. At the other end, Conti lays it up and in. Timeout while they check on Osborne, who is in pain. She got hit hard. You mentioned earlier, we talked about the injuries that they've gone through in the last couple of years, and you hate to see her walk into the locker room tonight. Alexa Blatt, the trainer for UCLA. Now, 13 point Bruin advantage, and we have a whistle and a foul away from the ball on Gina Conti. Second foul on Conti. Conti takes it away. Conti the other end gives the Bruins a 15 point advantage. Again, Oregon just not handling the pressure defense from UCLA, kind of. In bad spots, making passes, allowing people to get their hands on things. Van Sluten puts it in. She now has 10. She loves that spin back to the middle. Teams respond differently to coming back from Christmas break. Will step back by Hakez. Pow pow. India Rogers for three. Rebound Besswar. Good look from the three from Oregon, and certainly that would have helped. The Ducks average 8.9 threes made per game. Bessoir talking about threes. Ducks 5 of 13 on three-pointers. Van Sluten with a little spin moved. Rice on the drive. Rebound, pow pow. Here comes Chance Gray and the Ducks. Down by 17. Extra pass to Gray. Freshman unable to hit the three, but the putback. Kiki Rice. Oh, 
For Lafina Che against Bessoir. Che at six foot eight, tallest player in Ducks history. Ben Sluton. Now you've got to put together some stops if you're Oregon, and you got to stop the basketball right there. Unfortunate miss, but a great takeaway. Oh! A block for Van Sluten after the steal by London Jones. India Rogers puts it up and in. A lot of time left. UCLA without Charisma Osborne. There's a takeaway for Van Sluten. All the way to the rack. Draws the foul on Conti. Van Sluten, 5 of 7 at the line tonight, came in a 67 percenter. I've been really impressed with her game. Hawkes double teamed, passes out of the trap. Conti underneath to Brown, blocked by Van Sluten. Goes and down to the floor. And we have a uh, held ball. Rodgers all the way to the hoop off the glass and in. She just made that happen herself. Well, there, there's that getting to the paint. The penetration, UCLA's done a great job of them not allowing that. Not on that possession. Nine unanswered. Jaquez. Oh, great finish. The team calls her Gabs, or sometimes they call her Gabe because they just need a shortened name. She doesn't like Gabby, so it's Gabe sometimes, but she prefers Gabriella. Better opportunity, Pow Pow. This would be big, and she's got it. Dahina Pow Pow. Then Sluton went for the steal. Conte open on the other side. Up and in for Cameron Brown. The senior Cameron Brown. And then it extended to an 18-point lead. Maybe a Rodgers three-pointer battles out. There's a foul. Taylor Hosendove playing right now with Filipina Che on the bench. Zontag was calling for the ball. Rice instead kicks it back out to Besswar for three, and she cans it. That's a dagger for the Bruins. Big shot right there, and again, off the penetration, the come behind, the big steps out. It's a really hard matchup, and skip. she knocks it down. Pow Pow scoop to the hoop after the skip pass. Kiki Rice. Hawkeyes offensive rebound puts it up. Future for brother Jaime and the UCLA Bruins. Bruin men will be up in Pullman. Ted Robinson and Bill Walton will have the call. And how about that? Hawkeyes getting the offensive rebound off her own missed free throw. Oh, that's going to drive Kelly Graves crazy. Oh, yeah. Hawkeyes just fighting hard to the finish. Chance Gray on the drive gets the bucket and the foul. Penetration. Anytime you can get to the paint like that, and she's great at finishing. Body, good body control. Best wall, another three-pointer. Opened up, tips the rebound. Tip by Brown. Here comes Oregon. Conti tipped it away from behind India Rogers. Gina Conti, Grove City, Ohio native. 60-year senior. Van Sluten goes up. Yeah, she wanted a foul. Pow Pow puts it up and in. So the good defense by Brown, but then she turned it over. Conti crossed over against Pow Pow. Ducks take it away. Van Sluten. Good D by Hosada. Van Sluten took it outside. Chance Gray for three. No basket. She was on the sideline. Oh. Conti passes out of the trap. Hawkins, the freshman, calling it to Zontag. And now Bestwall. Chris Mosborn has been out with what looks to be a shoulder injury. Went back to the trainer's room and then back to the bench. London Jones defending India Rogers. Ball with 17 for the Ducks. And now 18 for Rogers. 
And Zontag throws it out of bounds back to Oregon well, to get somebody open immediately, preferably from beyond the arc. Yeah, absolutely. If you can get a three-point shot, you got to get it here right off the bat. Set a screen right here for, if not, get to the rim. Now there's the rejection off the drive by Gray. A couple occasions late in this game, it looked like the Ducks were going to make things really interesting, particularly when Chance Gray hit the three. They would have made it a three-point game, but she was out of bounds, and she did so. A oh, huge break for UCLA right there, being out of bounds on that. That made it a one-possession game. Rosendorf saving it, but it won't be enough for the Ducks. It's a held ball with .9 seconds left. So UCLA, number 10 team in the land, will improve to 2-0 in the Pac-12. 13-1 overall. Their sixth consecutive win. Ducks fall to 1-1 in conference play. 10-3 overall. And uh, we hope that Charisma Osborne is okay for UCLA. And likewise, Elise Hurst for Oregon.